Hello everybody, welcome to episode 7 in this playthrough of Civilization 6 for Nintendo Switch and in today's episode we're just going to continue on where we left off last time. We're going to try and maximise the tiles around the city here with the natural wonder. We're going to build some more stuff in Rome. We are building some settlers so we'll have to think about where we're putting them as well. Hopefully we'll get to place them as well in this episode and we'll probably on that note as well look at the Petra wonder a little bit more and talk about why it might be a good idea to found a city up there. Um, anything else I want to talk about? Uh, I f there is actually. I was playing off camera. Well, I wasn't playing off camera. I was looking at things off camera. And I've decided that we need to get rid of this barbarian encampment up here. It's annoying. If it starts spawning barbarians, it could be a real thorn in our side. Um, so I was thinking we will take our warrior out here. And this sort of combines with my the feeling I have that we need to build a bigger military. Be because we do. We need to be able to defend ourselves. And as well, when we think about going on the offensive, we don't have to build loads of troops up. So it'll be quite good to already have some. So I'm going to move our warrior out of Rome. And I'm doing that um, because of what I want to do in Rome when we get there. Is I want to go ahead and purchase an archer. Now archers are really cool. They're going to allow us to hopefully um, clean out that barbarian encampment pretty quickly. Um, so we'll go and grab one of them now. 240 gold. It seems like a lot, but we have enough to pay for it. And I think it'll be worth the investment. I think it just saves us them few turns of building an archer when we can focus on other things. So, yep, yeah, that's 240 gold gone. We're making 30 per turn, though, so I'm, I'm not that worried. Like I've said before, you, you might as well spend your money. Keep some back in case you have to emergency buy a unit. But apart from that, you might as well just spend, spend, spend. Okay, so we have just built, I think it's some more builders. Yes, there we go. There they are. They're marching up to Rome to build some things. Um, so we need to think about what we need to build here. And honestly, I'm, I'm not that fussed, really. There's a couple of things I'd like. I mean, an encampment, we've got to start thinking about building one of them somewhere. So that could be a decent shout. Where we put it, though, um, needs a bit of thought, really. Um, so. <laughs> so we could build an encampment. We could go for a granary to get the city growing quicker. Why is the encampment jumping out at me so much? I could have built another unit here and saved us a load of gold, but I chose against it. So. I'd be so tempted to go for that, but. Mm, we've got one in Rome, which we're going to build on. We could go for another settler, which would be nice. Or we could go for a military building. I want the encampment. Yes, I've decided... I'm going encampment. Sometimes I'm like this. I just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but we are going encampment. Now, I don't know exactly where we can put it. I want to put it around here. So then we can get any kind of district bonus off it at some point. But it's whereabouts. Right. We could put a harbour here, couldn't we, at some point. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can, I'm going to presume we can. So we could put a commercial hub there, a harbour there, which will create a three. And then, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll create a triangle somewhere else anyway, won't we? So we probably don't have to worry too much. I just want to put it on a really crap tile, to be honest, out of our way. Now, you'll see we obviously can't build our um, encampment directly adjacent to the city centre. That's something important to note. And so I'm thinking where exactly will it be necessary? I think this tile here looks pretty sweet. It's 75 gold to buy, but we're not really getting rid of anything. One one production, one corn, one growth tile. Is that really that special? Probably not. And plus it'd be on our border. I like things that are on our border. Um, I think we're going for that. I mean, additionally, what a fortress that would be there, but they'd probably just go around it. Well, they couldn't go around it, could they? Um, but I, w I want that tile for a mine, really, so... We're going to buy this one here. More expenditure. We've spent a ton of money already in this episode. So we'll buy that, and I think we're going to stick the encampment there. Yes, okay. That's nice. Here we go, then. That is the military district, which should give us more experience. We, we need them. We need them. And it's going to be good to have one in this city that is going to absolutely spam out production. Okie dokie. And I think that's everything for this turn. We could have gone settlers, but I just I just didn't fancy them in that city right now. I'm sure um, I'm sure we will consider building some more settlers in there um, after that's done, possibly. I don't know. That should get it done pretty quickly, though, because we are about to grow, so we'll get even more production for that city. Uh-oh. Is my military... Yes. 
Okay, I think we planned that, sort of. Oh, Naf, the Polish are going to get the encampment. Well, that's not ideal. They're going to get all the money from our hard work, which is um, frustrating. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, you just heal for now. I want to attack with these first. Yes, range attack. Why is it doing that? I am pressing the right button, aren't I? Eh. Uh, okay, it's not doing that. I pressed the range attack button and it just sort of glitched, so that's a bit gutting. Right, okay, so we'll range attack and then we'll go in with the warriors to finish them off. It's good experience, if nothing else. Do, do, do. We can't get in the sea yet, so we're going to have to skip Titan again. We will be able to get in the sea to work that port pearl resource once we get um, sailing. But we're a little bit off that yet. Um, but we are researching it. Okay, so that should finish them off, which would be a nice experience. Cool. Nice. Okay, so what, what's good about that as well is we can now bring our troops back a little bit um, and consolidate. Bringing our troops back will also enable us to not worry so much about defending our settlers because we'll have troops to do it with, so we're not going to have to build any more troops particularly quickly. Right, let's get this warrior moving then. Okay, and we will send the archer after... Archers are so much better than slingers. That's what you'll realise when you see this work. Like when this is at work, this is this is crazy stuff. It is so much better. Unreal. What else I'm going to do here as well? Um, just bring the cursor back. Is I'm going to move our warrior sort of into the centre of our empire a bit more. Um, and in case we have any threats from up there or something, we can react quicker than if it was just in one city. I'm not too worried about the south. There doesn't seem to be any barbarian encampments. So I'm just going to keep them in the centre. And we've got them coming back soon anyway. So it'll all be fine. I hope the Poles just decide they're not going to go and take that barbarian encampment. Because it's ours. But I feel like they are going to take it. I mean, surely, why wouldn't they? Oh my god, they've gone and attacked a scout instead. Why would you do that? <laughs> that gold is going to be ours. It's going to spawn another unit now, isn't it? Please don't. Oh, cool. Yes, 40 gold. Ah, oh, Christ. And there's an archer. Please pick on the Polish. They um, they clearly are almost dead. Um, and we don't want to fight you. In fact, so much so, we're pulling this slinger back. No point fighting a single archer. Not our problem. Because, yeah, we've, we found a friendly tribe. But it's got barbarians on it, so... It's not worth it, guys. I'm just not... I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling fighting the archer right now. I've just said how good they are. Oh, come on. Hang on. I just want to get these moving. It's just a pain in the backside. Do, do, do. Right, good. We are now actually moving. How long are settlers? It looks like one or two turns. I think it's two turns. Um. Yeah. Oh. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Why are you attacking us? Don't attack us. We don't want any trouble. You could have killed that Polish warrior instead. What have we done? We shall now fight a dignified retreat. Oh, also known as running away. But we can't say we ran away because um, that's embarrassing. Okie dokie. Keep moving forward. Oh, what to work first? Um, probably this. I think I was right here with the housing. That'll help. Not 0.5 housing added to our total housing. We're definitely going to need a granary in Rome as well pretty soon. For like extra housing. Okay. If you have got any questions, I have picked up the pace a little bit in this episode. But if you've got any questions about anything, make sure you leave them in the comments. Um, as you'll see, I try and get back to pretty much everybody. And I usually do. I don't think I've missed anybody yet. No, run away. Oh, no. This is not how it's meant to end. We're meant to fight a glorious death. <laughs> not be took out by a ranger, but by a freaking archer. Oh, naff. 
No. When we have sailing, I, I should really send him to sleep, but I'll forget, so I keep skipping turn. Okay. Um, you actually do need to skip turn. Um, where are the build quarries? I want the production. I'm gr I've decided. I've decided. <gasps> Set the time. Damn. Right. So my thinking was, and this is where Petra comes into it, is we actually go up here somewhere and found our city up here. Now, just for a minute, I just want to kind of turn on the settler, not the settler lens, turn off the settler lens. Now, these are some decent tiles up there. That's desert. What's that? That's plains. I think we could find it, found it up here, which is a bit of a way away from Rome, but there's lots of benefits, in my opinion, to founding it up here. So, one, we've got a little mountain, which is going to help with, obviously, bonuses. We've also got a little bit of production around here, nice bit of production. We are lacking a little food, though, so I think a granary will be on the menu very early. But it's actually surrounded by desert tiles now if we put it there for example so that we've got like a lot of desert tiles now is petra desert tiles adjacent to it or is it desert tiles that that city owns that is a question for the civilopedia as you can see i've already been searching it oh geez i've got to do it again Okay, so plus two food and plus two food, plus two gold and plus one production on all desert tiles for the city. For the city. So it's not adjacent tiles. So we could just buy up a load of desert tiles. And especially if we find it at that side, we could buy them all up. Like, there's nothing particularly stopping us doing that. I can't see anybody coming to settle really. So I think buying, settling around there... I, I might be wrong. If, if obviously, if your opinion differs, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. But we found it there, and then we can really start to maximize these tiles' potential um, and buy load up. So, if we found it there, one, two, three, we'd be able to buy a load of these tiles up. Obviously, that's not completely maximizing all the desert tiles we could build if we maybe went over here. But we have more production, so we've got a much better chance of getting actually managing to build Petra when we unlock it. Now, I also don't want to be found in a city and just relying on Petra as well. So, I think around here, with if we can just sort the food issues out. I mean, we've got fish around there, which we can buy and deal with. But deal with, that sounds bad. But we've got, we've got a few tiles and build a granary. I think we could get some decent amount of food. What's it like housing-wise? Um, lenses. Settler. Okay, it's, it's plus one. It's coastal water. But then again, are we expecting the city to grow massively? Well, it depends, doesn't it? It depends if we get Petra. <laughs> I still think that's the best idea. I think I'd like to found it around there, but there's not a great deal of production. So I'm going to go for that. If I'm wrong, you know I'm wrong. F read the comments. I'll pin the person that tells me I'm really wrong. That's what I usually do. Okay. So if we're doing that, we also need to think about getting our unit up there. Now, there's two ways we could do this. We could either attach this warrior, but I don't want to move it all. Or we could probably just send it this way um, and hope for the best. Once we deal with the barbarian encampment, it shouldn't be too... Ah, oh, bollocks. Oh, I mean, oh dear. I didn't mean to swear. I apologize. Uh, well, I'm going to gamble and say that's from that encampment. So we're going there anyway, so it doesn't. it probably shouldn't matter. You go... In fact, you can just come up here. Let's see what they've got going up here. And you can follow him and attack next turn. I think actually we're probably best just leaving our settlers out of the way a little bit. I want to keep moving them forward because I, I want the movement tiles. I want to get up there as quickly as possible. Um, but yeah. So Rome has now got... Um, just built another settler. Now what do we want to do here? I'm, I'm almost convinced with this one. We're actually not doing so bad for housing right now. That will become a problem again pretty quickly. But we need settlers again. But 
I really want the library. I think the library would help. I mean, 11 turns. Yeah, but we need... We want this these science bonuses, so... I think we're going for them. Especially considering at the end of the last episode, we had a look at the world rankings. And we weren't flying, let's say. We are last. I mean, I expect it at this stage. I, I always do. Um, we've, I'm, I'm kind of a player that builds up. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got work to do. So building that should hopefully help us catch up with science. Okay, one final thing I want to do this turn is just have a look about building Petra. So we've talked a little bit about the wonder. Now we need to see how we unlock it. So if we go up to the tech tree, and this is where this library will help as well, is that if we scroll over to... Have I gone past it? Yes, mathematics there. So mathematics is currently quite a way away. The boost is to build three different specialty districts. Well, we're already we're already building. We've built a campus and we're building an encampment, so that'll be two. Um, I always like to get a commercial hub out as early as possible as well. So maybe we'll get to do that and get the boost. But you can see it's quite a few techs away. And considering we're really trying to get to ironworking as well, we're going to need all the science we can get to try and get to ironworking. And then try and get Petra as well. So if we can achieve both of them things, I'll be very pleased. That's just why I feel like it's a bit ambitious though. Because I, I feel like there's a long way to go there. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, I want to get rid of this barbarian encampment very quickly. I sort of hope they come out and fight us. Oh, no. Nah. No, we're running away. No. Oh, thank God we're alive. We're alive. We're just alive. I don't want these guys to die. I've got an emotional attachment to them now. Ooh, we're in the classical era. We've changed eras. It is not that life for sure. And that's because we've got sailing. To me. But life at sea is better. Yep. So Francis Drake Artics quote there. The Aha, yes. The art of the next best. I forgot about this. I completely forgot we started researching this at the end of the last episode. But wow, what there's a lot to talk about here. So we have unlocked our pretty much first proper tier government. So we have been working at a chiefdom, and as you can see, that involves one policy, one military policy slot and one economic policy slot. But now we're in a position where we are. It's time to move up. And we have a choice of three. Now, this is what you need to think about when you're choosing your government. So... We could either go for a classical republic, we could go for an oligarchy, and we can go for an autocracy. As you can see, all three have different bonuses and different um, kind of legend legend bonuses kind of thing. Um, so, all cities with a district, so this is classical republic, all cities with a district receive plus one amenity. Cool. Um, and that's, we get a 15% bonus for great people points. It's, it's not really a, a militaristic government type. And we have to remember, we are going to be a militaristic civ. So then let's have a look at oligarchy. So that's this one here, the middle one. I'll just move down from it. So we've got one military policy slot. We've got one um, economic policy slot. We've got a diplomatic policy slot. And we've got a wildcard policy slot. Oligarchy is the one I tend to go for quite a lot. Uh, because it's got a nice balance and the wildcard policy slots allow you to put any policy in um so yeah it, it's i usually put economic policies in put it that way and then finally we've got um sorry and then th that gives you all land melee units gain plus four combat strength i mean you could see how that could be beneficial for us and 20 percent experience for combat units again very nice finally we've got autocracy which gives us two military policy slots it gives us one economic policy slot and one wildcard policy slot the capital receives a plus one boost to all yields and bonus on wonder production now i'm not gonna lie to you there's one i really think is strongest here especially for us and and this is considering a number of things one we're a military save so any bonuses to combat and unit experience is gonna be massive and two, it's got a nice balance. Now, I'm probably not going to... You, you think military policy slots, oh, that would be good for us. But the, the the economic ones, in my opinion, are definitely stronger policy slots. And we've also got a wild card one there with oligarchy works. We can, we can stick whatever we want in there. So, we are going to be going for an oligarchy. Um, so, bonus combat experience for units, 20 plus 1% for every 5 turns on standard speed. It's a really nice, well-balanced um, policy, government type. And... Of, it's autocracy sounds like it should be better for expansion, but I mean them bonuses, and we we we're gonna go oligarchy. Yes. Okay. So now that we've actually unlocked this second government type, as you can see, we've got more policy slots available to us. 
So first things first, you can only shove certain ones of these policies in. It's very much the same as the original government. So we can only put military policies. We can only put military policy slots in the military slot. Economic, diplomatic. You get the idea. As I keep saying, the wild card one's a bit different. You can put anything in there. So we're going to keep the barbarian one in for now because well we're fighting barbarians um the settler one i still want to build a couple more settlers so i think i will keep that in there's nothing jumping out at me that i want to put in either like that i desperately want to replace it with now we need to think about the diplomatic policy slots i think i'm going to change this a bit because i i think the look on this game is best to do it like this when you're picking so diplomatic, we can either go charismatic leader plus to influence points per turn towards envoys. We can go the first envoy you send to each city state counts as two. Now, I always see this as so sort of short game against long long term against short term. The extra envoys and the plus to influence points for me, I always see it as long term. Um, if you've got any other interpretation of that, then fair enough. But the um, the diplomatic league. The kind of first envoy you send counts as two is sort of a short-term bonus there. Um, so, I think, though... Let's have a look what city-states we know and how many envoys we've got going around. It, I mean, it'd be cool, but we're not going to become envoys of these anytime soon, are we? I think I'd rather have the influence. I mean, that counts as two. It doesn't change anything. Yes, later on we can always stick another envoy in there, but yeah, I think we're going to go for the long-term option here. Oh, God. Give me a minute. So, plus two influence points per turn. That's nice. It gives us more kind of um, sway with where our envoys are going and what we're using them for. And the wild card policy slot. We don't need any. A great general would be pretty nice. So, that's definitely on there. So, we might go for the plus two great general points per turn. We might do. Um, let's have a look let's have a look at the great generals so this is the by the way this is all the things i'm looking on here are on the left hand side um so this is the great people thing and this shows you how close you are to actually attaining a a great person so where are we on here so it looks like that's the first one right yeah, it looks like that's the first one. So we are 8 of 60. Oh, no, that's a great... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so we've got no great general points right now. I was getting confused then for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so the, we had no great general points. The only one we're close to getting or making progress on is the great scientist. But that's obvious because we've only got a scientific district up right now. When we get our encampment up the military district, that's going to help. However, we can start um, pushing towards that now by getting and putting our great general points in. Now, as we can see by the list of civilizations under on the right-hand side of the screen, um, nobody else seems to be working on this right now. So we could really take steps to get in the first great general, and a great general will really help us with expansion. Also, Sun Tzu's treated pretty well in, re in, in previous games. I quite like um, Sun Tzu as a great general. So... I think we're going to put that in. I think we're going to try and rush towards the Great General, which should help us expand. Theoretically, it should. Okay, so I need to put that back in. Ah, the controls are confusing. And I think we will put the Great General one in. The only other one I was considering putting in was the unit maintenance one. But I don't think our army is big enough for one. To, for it to make a massive difference and also we're making plenty of money as it is anyway um, if there's any policies you want me to consider putting in in the future parts let me know down in the comments okay so we'll confirm them okay we'll take them away if you've got any more questions about the kind of great people screen i will go through at the beginning of next episode and um, which i'm going to record in the morning so make sure you let me know as soon as you watch this video if you've got any questions i might go over it in a bit more detail anyway I'm also planning to record a couple of episodes tomorrow, which should actually... Okay, so we've got some new requests, um, city-state requests, quests, sorry, um, to get envoys. But we'll, we'll have a look at them maybe in the next part. I'll watch the end of this and remember.
Anyway, I've just seen that we are on 25 minutes and I like keeping these parts under half an hour so they're easy to watch and so that it's not a massive commitment to your time. In the next episode, we are going to go through, I think we'll have a brief look at the great people screen again, um, unless you don't want me to let me know because I think I could have gone over that in more detail and we'll just continue on with what we're doing. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. We need to found our third city as well next episode. Kill them barbarians. There's a lot to do. So thank you for watching. Um, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more and I will see you tomorrow for episode 8.